Hey again, there is another command we could use it to repeat loops. I think it's easier than while. So let's get started. So to get started with it, I just create a new file and name it a loop then four, which is for loop. So think about you want to print numbers from one to 10. You say, okay, four, a, a, I in range 10. That's mean I have 10 numbers. Then I say, hey, a print I. And you're done. Really simple and really straightforward. 1 to 10. See, range 10. Like mean he will take 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 10, range. Range is the command in Python that if you say range 5, he will give you a number from 0 to 4. So if you just go there, 0 to 4, which is really interested. If you see 4, really is condition, then you define your variable in the list of the data you want to print from. This is a very basic example. If I want to get another example, if I if I if you believe you have a list, this list have a number of things like one, two, three, and have high and have set fifty-five in this way, have fifty-five, eh, ninety-two, whatever. This is list. And you want to print all these elements in the list. So the nice idea in loop, you just say for item in the list. Then you say print the item. It's really simple and straightforward. If you just run it, hey, now I don't like this part. Let me take it off. Just make it simple for you now. You say, hey, item in list. What that mean in Python? Uh, Python mean, hey, you have this list, which is L, this list. An item in that list. He will take them item, item, and print them. He'll print first item, then second item, third item, fourth, five, six. If you just try to debug it, always I, I advise you as a beginner to debug everything. See, he print a one, then he print two, then he print three, he print high, then he print fifty-five, he print ninety-two. So the idea behind using for the object in the list, it's really, really simple simplify your work so yeah so instead using index what if you want to do index what if you have l and you want to print them by index for example now if i say l for zero and i print it he always will print the item index zero which is this one but i want to print them according i but now i represent object i want to present index if i say i in range of how many element i have one two three four five six so I in range of six, then hopefully, hopefully I just get I will not go outside the uh, the element. So if I say three, yeah, yes, I think um in the range. Hopefully, run it. Here you go. So what is going on here? If I just add another print, I say index in index dot format for i. So you would now any item in any index, if you just rerun it again, you would see for index zero, there is one. For index one, there is two. For index three, there is whatever. If you want just to make it more professional, say index this way, or call the item. Hopefully I did it right. For L, for I. I think I did it right, I'm not sure with this new concept python here you go if you want to make it more professional use this way now if you see an in index zero we added one there is one there is right here there is index zero there is one an in index one there is two why i use it this way this way just you know how to format the string you just say hey and i have string i want to display word index then open a bracket then add the number which is this number i which is the index that we iterate on in here then add a call he will add a call then the another number which is this one which is the object real object so basically this is how to work with loop it's really easy and simple and straightforward you just and do it you don't have to do a lot of thinking a lot of work just for object in the list and you go through that list do whatever you think it is good for you. I always believe. Uh, I believe you use this way will be great because you don't have to do a lot of unnecessary process, like using I in list item, 
which is really easy and simple. I like it. This is also used in Enigma 6. But I, I want to show you that process to show you like how to access to index. Sometimes you want to print numbers and list, whatever. And this is the way. Yeah, this is what I want to share with you. Hopefully you understand. Still, when you when you talk about loop here, still same thing, same what what we do with while. Still we have a condition, and when the condition it's okay, he will run the block of code inside that condition. Here we done, and thank you for watching.